Internet, good morning. This is Daybreak748 coming back at you guys with yet again another discussion video. Today's topic is going to be on whether or not you think Tamashi Nations is taking the Digimon franchise in the right direction. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, here's the news for you all if you have been living under a rock for God knows how long now. Originally, the Digimon franchise used to be a part of D Arts. Now, D Arts was a subdivision underneath Tamashii Nations, and they took care of uh, lines such as the Pokemon figures, the Digimon, and the Mega Man figures. But after some time has passed, Tamashii Nations and the higher ups were like, "Screw it, too complicated. We have SH Figure Arts and we have D Arts. Let's just merge them together." And so they decide they they decided on that, and they went with it. So now they got rid of the D Arts line, and they went straight into SH Figure Arts, which was perfectly fine. Now, during that whole shifting and moving of, I guess, the label, they re-released some of these characters that you see here before you, and they gave them a uh, paint upgrade. They gave them, for example, certain characters they gave, uh, who originally had, I should say, a plastic cape. They gave them a cloth cape. They gave them more accessories or different accessories, and bam, there you have it. That's what the SH Figure Arts line did with the D Arts figures that they originally had ownership of. And then some time has passed, and they decided, screw it, we're not releasing any more Digimon figures. They didn't say it. They didn't come out and say that, hey, we're done with the Digimon franchise. They didn't say anything like that. It was like a Power Rangers or Super Sentai thing. For those of you guys who collect Super Sentai from the SH Figure Arts lineup, you know exactly what I mean. They just stopped producing any more figures. And then, recently, this year, at the Tamashii Nations World Tour at New York City, they released a picture of something called a Digivolving Spirits line that they were coming up with. And it was pretty much taking an old concept and revitalizing it. So for all of you guys who grew up in the 90s, you know exactly what this is. It's where you get a basic level Digimon, or I think they're like called rookie level. I think, I know they have names. There's like champion level, etc. But I'm not, I don't know the terminology, so forgive me for that. But you have a character like Agumon, and then you can digivolve him or transform him into like a War Greymon. Very cool concept. I used to own a lot of these types of figures. It was amazing. However, 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 uh, it's it's not a show accurate piece now it clearly makes sense it's a it's not a show accurate piece because it has to actually transform from one digimon to a completely different digimon so this is where i stand at this point in time for me personally as a collector i am more a fan of show accuracy all the way through and you guys know that because I collect for example the Super Smash Brothers line and I try to collect the best versions of each of those characters that's shown on screen the Dragon Ball Z characters um what else a uh, fate stay night so uh, you name it pretty much anything I collect you guys know I want the perfect versions of these guys and that's what D Arts and SH Figure Arts brought to us. They gave us amazing quality figures uh, who had their flaws, don't get me wrong, they're not perfect, but for the most part, they were amazing to look at and they were beautiful. Beautiful, 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 and hands down, the best representation of those characters that we've ever gotten. Now, as a person who grew up with the Digivolving Spirits concept, I like it because it's gimmicky and it's fun, but to collect this line, I, I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm going to pick and choose some of the characters that I really want in my want to have just to play with, but other than that, I think I'm going to pass, and it really sucks because I want to support the Digimon line, but I, do, I can't see myself displaying these guys. 
I mean, they would not fit with my D-Art slash SH Figure Arts figures. And I just, I don't like that whole backpacky thing and the kibble that shows from a transforming figure. So let's take a closer look at the transforming figures, the Digivolving Spirits figures. So here we have Alphamon looking freaking badass, and he looks great. But clearly, you can see that there are some parts that are off. For example, right off the bat, I see, I think his name was Doruman. It's been so long. But yeah, I think his name was Doruman. You can see Doruman's like feet here. You can kind of see some backpacking going on right here. That's probably his body. And I think I have a picture of this. Give me a sec. Nope, not that one. This one's a better picture of the one I just zoomed in on. And then bam. Yep, I do. Clearly, this is not supposed to be a cape. It is literally Doruman's body all folded in. And, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. I really am not. Uh, I like, as a kid growing up, I liked this concept. It was fun. But as a collector who wants to display his figures, and I, a person who wants to have the best versions of those characters out there, like, yeah, I'm not feeling this at all. And it seems to me that he's not going to be coming with any interchangeable parts because... As you guys can clearly see, there's closed fists, and yeah, I don't see his, a sword anywhere. So, that's quite a shame. Now, looking at some more pictures of some prototypes that they have going on, you have right here Gabumon and Metal Gururumon. I mean, Metal Gururumon looks pretty freaking epic, but hey... If you have this version right here, that's the best that you're going to get. So when I saw this, it looks good. Don't get me wrong. It looks good, but I don't see any accessories coming with this guy. And if you take a look at poor old Gabumon here, you can clearly see the kibble and the backpacking issues. And uh, it's that is a problem that any transforming figure is going to have. And that kind of sucks. Now... They have more figures coming out, uh, for, and they put display only, but we have Diaboromon. Now, this one doesn't look too bad at all. I think he you can get away with. So if you wanted like a main villain for your other figures to face off against, well, like, this might be a perfect one for you. But uh, still, uh, that's this is pretty much it. This is the one figure I think I might get. Oh, actually, no, I lied. I'm definitely going to at least get War Greymon, but still, oh my goodness. And then here's where my heart sank. So here we go. Bam. The first time I saw this particular figure, I saw it on my phone on Instagram. And someone had posted it, and it was just this picture right here. And so as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. They're bringing out an SH Figuarts version of, uh, of Angel Woman, and she looks beautiful. But on closer inspection, you can clearly see that there's backpacking going on. Uh, like, even on the back here, and even this looked like... Um, Garoman's claws so yeah and it was proven that this is actually a digivolving spirit angel woman so that kind of sucks i love the idea i love it as like a fun toy or gimmicky figure that i'll have at my desk to play around with but when it comes to posing them and displaying them in my collection, I think this is going to be a pass, unfortunately for me. What's your thoughts on it? Would you Do you like the direction that Tamashii Nations is taking this franchise where they're like, okay, we're not doing the SH Figure Arts or D Arts line anymore. We're going to focus more on these digivolving figures. Is that, is that something you're okay with? Leave in the comment section down below because I'm kind of like, I'm torn. I really am. I like this because it's very nostalgic. I like it because it's a fun idea and fun toy to play around with. But when it comes to posing, taking pictures of, and displaying, man, nothing beats these. These are freaking the best of the best. So, what's your thoughts on it? Are you 
really in love with this line? If so, explain why. If you are like, no, I'm not, do you agree more with me? Then explain why. And yeah, let's just have a little discussion about it. Now, in my honest opinion, what would I have done if I had the power to do so? I would have said, hey, let's test the waters. Let's make, for example, a Angel Woman SH Figure Arts version and a Angel Woman as a Digivolving Spirit and give the fans both and see what happens. I hate the fact that we're not getting any more of these D Art slash SH Figure Arts versions of the characters that we love. I mean, wouldn't it been have been awesome if we could have gotten an Angel Woman, an Angel Mon, a freaking, I don't know, a Lily Mon, and all those other Digimon, badass Digimon. I think it would have been epic as an SH Figure Arts. And then sprinkling in the Digivolving or Digivolving Spirits, whatever, this line, I think that would have been a pretty fantastic idea to kind of balance out. But I know. Uh, cost issues, I know it's expensive, uh, it's uh, more hours of work that they have to put in, and uh, yeah, the company's not going to put in that if they don't see any fruit. So I can understand why they're not doing it. But that is what I would have done if I had the power. So what's your thoughts on it? Leave in the comment section down below. I, I'm super excited to see what you guys think. And uh, yeah, with that said, Thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to stop by and watch this video. If you like what you saw, please leave a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, please check out my other content. So, And with that said, this is Daybreak748, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.